Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me here. I'm uh, still working on the uh, little module pieces for um, for the cargo hold. Someone pointed out in the comments of the last video that if I kept this thing on right here and then duplicated on up, these things would be sticking out when they probably shouldn't be there. So I'm going to have to think about something, a fix for that. Either re... I don't want to reconfigure reconf all of these things, but you know what I could do? Oh, here's what I could do. You know what I could do. Here we go. I could just take this thing and uh, split it out as its own piece and then just put it in in Unity. Because um, I'm only going to need it like once here and on the other side. So yeah, I think that's all I'll do. So I'll just hit the P key and uh, split that out into its own object. Um, and then what I can do then is take this in on its own. Let me uh, set the origin to right down here at the bottom. So I'm um, not exactly what I'd planned on doing with this, but I think it'll work. It's kind of cheating, but you know, it's more, not so much cheating as creative problem solving. How's that? Uh, I'm gonna set the origin to the 3D cursor here. And there we go. Okay. So now I've got this piece, and you know what? If I give this the same material as this piece, it'll get its uh, texture properly because it will still have the UV map that was created for all of this. So yeah, sometimes cheating works. <laughs> um, but not in school. Okay. So let's go back to Substance Painter, and here is this piece here. I think I'm pretty much done with this. And what I want to do is take these and create smart materials for them. Um, and I need to give these proper names so that I can uh, see them in the materials area here. So let's first begin with this one. Um, so I, actually I should I should just say hello. <laughs> uh, I just got working and didn't say hi. Um, how you guys doing? Uh, are you using Cycles or Blender Engine? I'm using uh, Cycles just because it's the 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 default here. I just, I like the node editor and materials better for uh, uh, cycles, but um, I'm ultimately going to take it all into Unity. So I'm not using the Blender game engine. And someone actually asked um, the last time, I think, why I'm not using the Blender game engine. And I guess it's because there's a lot of uh, friction to getting something published. You know, with Unity and Unreal, you can publish to iOS, Android, um, um, Amazon Fire, you can publish to Xbox Live, you can publish to Steam, you can publish to a lot of things. Whereas with the Blender game engine, it's a little bit harder to do. Well, it's a lot harder to do, and there are really only a few options. So I just, I like Unity because I've been using it for quite some time. Um, but that's why. Uh, Substance Painter, however, is pretty new to me. So if you see me fumbling around in Substance Painter, it's because I'm still really a newbie here. Um, but what I want to do is create a smart material of this. Let's see if this works. And there it is. Railing Metal Main. That's what I want. Um, and I'm just going to go through and create a uh, smart material for each one of these so that I can use them in um, 
another substance file. Uh, create smart material and create smart material. All right. So now I should be able to bring another one in. <clears throat> Let's give that a try. File new. And I'll bring in, I haven't exported one yet, have I? Okay, I gotta go back and export that out of Blender. So let's do that. Let's do this one here. So for this one, have I already done all the vertex paint? I think I did. Yep, I already did. That's good. Um, have I created a material for it? Yep, I did that. Have I given it a name? Yep, okay. So let's select that. Go to File, Export, FBX, and Selected Objects. We'll call this Cargo Hold... What do we want to call this? Uh, platform? Is that what I... I think that's what I called it. And export that. Yeah, that's what I called it. Now in Substance Painter, let's go File New, select, there it is right there, and bring that in. Now I'll just hit OK here. I don't have a normal map or anything to bring in along with it, but I do need to go ahead and bake the textures. So I'll do that at 2048. I'll make sure that I'm selecting the vertex color map that I created in Blender and bake those textures. I wonder if Substance Painter can be pay only one time in Steam. Yeah, you know, they want you to do a um, uh, a subscription, but they also have a pay-to-own plan. So in other words, you're paying a, a subscription up to a certain point, at which point you've basically paid for the program, and then it's yours, and you have no more payments. So it's like a pay-to-own kind of thing, and that's what I'm doing here. So that's why I'm using it. I'm trying to give it a try, get used to it, and see if I want to keep it. And so far, I'm thinking, yeah, I kind of like it. Unless Blender really comes out with a um, really cool PBR solution, um, which would be awesome. Don't get me wrong. That would be cool. All right, so I'm going to take this railing metal main here and drag it over and drop it in here and see what happens. There we go. I love that it even brought over the um, the color selection, you know, the uh, color pick, which is great. Okay, so now let's do the poles here. I'm going to drag this over, drop it. There we go. And the wires, I don't need the stairs there, no. Uh, the wires here, drop those in. And, oh, I'm, I dropped them in in the wrong place. Let me get those out of that group there. There we go. That did it. Okay. Well, you have to admit, that's pretty cool that it'll just drop in like that. Okay. Uh, let's call this, what do I call this? Cargo module platform. Okay. Um, let's try the next one. Since I have my smart materials in here, let's go ahead and give it a try on the other one. Um... Here it is. And now, let's see. Once again, let me go through and 
check everything. Vertex paint, yep. Material, yep. Name, yes. And I'm calling it Cargo Hold Module Braces. Okay, so let's export this. Selected object. I said braces, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Now let's go back to the Substance Painter. Uh, better save, file new. Let's bring this in. Here it is. And uh, let's go ahead and bake. Once again, 2048. Make sure that's vertex color. And there we go. Let's see. If you're a student or teacher for Substance Painter, AV Gaming just picked up it for free. Nice. I like that. Yes, if you're a student or something, you can get lots of great freebies. All right, so I got that. The texture's baked. Now let's just bring this in. This is just all I need is the metal main. And there you go. All right. <laughs> Sure, why not? Uh, I like it. So, save that. And we're going to call this braces. Now, I need to go through and export these. Oh, you know, the last thing I need to do here is grab that little piece that I split out right here. Zoom in here, and this piece, I guess I just need to uh, give this a new name. We need to call this um, module, uh, we'll just call it floor plate. There we go. And this will just be a little tiny piece that we will take in, and I'm going to leave it the same material. And let's see if this works. I have a feeling it just might work, but let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, uh, let me make sure the scale's all ones. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and export it now. And uh, what did I call this? Floor plate. <laughs> That's right. My short-term memory is going. Uh, floor plate. All right. And so I don't think I need to take this into Substance Painter. I think I just need to take it into Unity and use the same material as these, as the stairs. Well, we'll see. Let's give it a try. If it doesn't work, then we'll fix it. Right? All right. Um, I'm going to go into Unity now. And uh, let's start bringing in these pieces and see where they fall in the scene here. Um, I'll go into my finder here and let's browse to where those are. And where are those? Um, here, cargo hold. There we go. Here's all the four FBXs that I used um, in Substance Painter. So I'll drag those in. Okay. Um, and then I want to go to my Substance Painter folder, and in here I've got an exports folder where these things are going. Um, at least I thought they were. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, well, here's the problem. 
I need to export all those textures. But let's bring in uh, one of these and let's see how it works. Let me just grab this, drop it in. Here we go. So there is the first piece and that's not looking too bad, okay. Um, let me put a floor in, let me move this and maybe rotate it. Rotate it 90 degrees here. Move that over here. So here's how it's kind of going to look. Okay, that's not bad. Um, let me also add a floor in here real quick. Just a, um, a temporary floor. I'll add a plane and get this zeroed out. There we go. And um, it has a col uh, collider on it, so if I just scale it up, Let's do this. This is just temporary, just so I can run around. I want to now bring in, um, import a package of characters so I can get a first person character with a camera so I can run around and kind of get a sense of how it's going to look. I forgot to vertex paint some pieces on the hand railing on the middle module. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll go back and take a look. Alright, let me uh, go into my characters here. First person character. Prefabs. And there's two of them here. There's one. This one has audio. This one does not. And that's the one I want. So I'm going to drag him in. There he is. Um, I need to bring him up so he isn't dropping into the floor. There we go. And I need to get rid of this camera over here. Can't have two. Okay. Now, let's see what we have here. Oh, I don't want to see the HDR image. Well, that's okay for now, I guess. Um... Oh, it's going to make me think on what to do to get rid of that. So I can go like this. There we go. It's still out there. Yeah. Okay. So let's play it and see. All right. Here we go. Yeah. That's about right. Whoa moving really fast too fast but I think that's about right let me move around here yeah okay so this is this is this is pretty good okay so let me get out of this um so let me export those uh, textures out of Substance Painter and then we'll take a look at oh l let me just drag these in and let's see how this works. Let me drag this in pop that there and uh, this in pop that there there we go alright move this guy back here like that yeah, I kind of kind of think that's okay. Oh, um, I need to re-export this, don't I? Because that has that plate on it. So, let's redo that. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Delete. Um, so, let me go re-export that while I'm thinking about it. Here it is. 
I'll just write. I could have just written over it in um, Unity, but didn't think of that. Okay, so now I should be able to bring that in. Uh, let's go back. Stairs. There we go. Okay, so now if I take that in here like that, that'll pop there. And then if I take this little plate and drag it in, that'll pop right there. Nice. Okay. So yeah, and this piece, as I said, I can just move around to the other side of the room and that'll be fine. Okay. Now, okay, let's um, let's go back and export those uh, textures. So back in Substance Painter, I need to start exporting this. However, you said I let me make sure I might have missed a piece here. Did I miss a piece? I mean, it looks like the textures are on here. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and export the textures while we're here. So, export textures. I want it to be Unity, of course. Unity 5, standard metallic. Uh, we want it 2048, that's good. Um, and here we go. So we're only going to get the albedo, metallic, and normal coming through, which is fine. Uh, let's find where we want it to go. Um, we want this to be the cargo platform. So this is a new folder cargo platform. I better do it like this. There we go. Get that going. Alrighty. Let's now go uh, to the braces here. Let's go ahead and save. Let's get these going. File, export. I wish it would hold the previous selection, but it doesn't. We'll call this cargo module braces, and we'll export those. And the last one. Stairs. Come on. Don't die on me now. I'm on a roll here. There we go. I was afraid it was going to crash. Um, so for the stairs here, um, let's go ahead and just export this out. File. Export. 2048. This is stairs, so this one will be cargo module stairs. And there we go. All right. Okay, so I think we're ready. To go back to Unity here and give this a try. So let's. Um, I think I'll take these first of all and drop them in the models folder that I've created just to clean that up a bit. And then um, 
I guess what I should probably do is create folders here to drop these in or else it's going to become a mess. So we're going to have stairs here like this. And in my Substance Painter folder, I've got those textures hopefully labeled labeled well so that I can find them. Here we go. So here's the stairs. Here we go. Let's bring those in. Okay, so here's our material that came in from Blender and when it comes in from Blender it's a little bit gray so we got to drag it all the way up there. Now we can take the um, textures here. I'm going to slide the slider so I can see the name. The albedo, the metallic, and the normal and click fix. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Next, uh, this guy here. Make it white. And this is uh, the platform. So let's make a folder here. Module platform. And let's go grab this. There they are. There we go. And in here, the albedo, the metal, the normal, and fix. And look at this. Sure enough, that little platform there, since it was all part of, or not platform, little plate here, since it was all part of that same UV map and material, got the material that it needed. Sweet. So now let's grab this. Let's pull that up to white. And let's create a folder for this. Um, this is just the braces, isn't it? There we go. Let's go grab that. And there we go. So, should be able just to drop those in just like the others. There we go. Okay. So now, we've got that. Let me hit play. And go over here and take a look. Yeah. Whoa, it's so fast. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, select that. And movement, let's cut that in half. How about, how about forward speed four? Let's try that. That's just too much. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think this is going to work. Let me come out here and spin around here. Okay, so let's say that that might just work. And let's try and see if we begin duplicating this, how it's going to work. Um, so, let me think. If I take this piece of stairs here, and I'm going to go to an orthographic view like this, 
And if I hold the V key down here, I can hover over vertices and then click and drag up. Nope. Wait a minute. Let me try, try, try that again. Hold the V key down. Okay. <laughs> Let me duplicate the darn thing. Duplicate. Okay. Now, hold the V key down. Click and drag. And now I think I can snap them. Although it's kind of not working real well. Let me see. Oh, I've... Okay, let me try this. Let me bring this up. And I just want to snap it. Right? Well. Kind of difficult to snap. Hmm. Yeah, it's not easy to snap, I tell you. Okay, is there another way I can do that? I think there is. So, let me try something here. If I use the snap tools, where is the snap? Snap settings. So now, if I take this, and duplicate it. If I pull it up, it's going to snap like that. I don't want that. Okay. Oh, I see. I, I would need to. Yeah. Hmm. So that's not quite what I want either. Usually I can hold the V key down and uh, uh, snap it pretty con consistently, but I'm not finding that it's doing that for me. So, which kind of is going to make things a little bit more difficult, but I think what I could do maybe is just go to wireframe and spin around here. Take this, duplicate it, and just move it up like that. That didn't seem too hard. <laughs> Maybe I'm just making my life a little <laughs> more difficult than it needs to be because that's pretty easy to do. Okay. So, now let's go back and see how many there are. I'm just going to go back to Blender because I know I have the image here. Control up arrow and make that full screen. So, how many of these are there? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At, at least eight. Wow. Okay. So, if we go back to Unity... Let's try this. Uh, let's try this. So, what I could do, actually, is now that I've got this one here, I could grab this one and this one. So, this one, that one, and then go to wireframe. And then I think I could just, let me just duplicate this real quick and okay, duplicate, move it up. To 
there. Let's try that. Okay. Doggone it, if that might just work. All right. So yeah, that's what I need to do. Um, and then, let me see, where are, let me go back here real quick. So it looks like the stairs are more in the middle. I need to duplicate a couple back and then a couple forward. So let me try that. So if that's the case, I could grab this, this, and this. And then move these back one like that. So let's try that. Go to wireframe again. Although I don't really need to for this, now do I? So now if I duplicate and just move this straight back. Oop, that didn't duplicate. There. Move that straight back like that. Oh, okay. So how many do I have to go back now? One, it, lo it looks like just two and maybe two on the other side as well. So That means, I think, that I could select this and this now. And with all of those selected, duplicate and move all of these over here. Let's try that. All right. So I missed, what did I miss? I missed this guy, or these guys, didn't I? Yep. Grab this and move this over here. Well, this isn't too bad, actually. I. Uh, was afraid, I was afraid that this would be a total pain in the butt, but it turns out it's not too bad. There we go. All right, so then I think I can then duplicate up several more times. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, I love this stuff. You have to ad admit, this is pretty cool. Now I'm gonna have to probably figure out a way to seal this off or to end it. I mean, I'm gonna have to have a wall over here and a wall over there, but that shouldn't be too hard to figure out ultimately. Um, all right, let's, so let's try and go up some more now. I think what I need to do is select all of these. No, I don't need that one. Need that one and that one. Let's try that. Okay. So that's one, two, three. This should be four, five. All 
one, two, three, four, five. Let's try again. My viewport's having trouble keeping up here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that is that enough? Do I need any more? Really? That may be enough. Well, that's kind of cool, though. Um, so, what I will need to figure out is um, how to terminate it on the top. I'm going to have to go back to Blender and uh, create just a platform to put up here. So I can do that. I also need to terminate it back here with just a brace, I think, along here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how are you? What's going on out here? Is this a warehouse? It is a cargo hold inside a container uh, ship. It's, uh, um, you know, inside one of these huge um, cargo ship things. Um, is it a good idea to duplicate objects in Blender? where you could just combine all this, uh, excuse me, is it a good idea to duplicate things in Unity where you could combine it all in Blender? Um, yes, you can com combine it all in Blender, but then you don't have the freedom to move things around. Um, I just wanted to have it be a little bit more uh, modular, um, it just helps me um, build things here in Unity. Um, and if the uh, s uh, scale is a little bit off here in Unity, you have the um, ability to, you know, make it bigger or, or smaller if you need to. Um, I like to build things in pieces and bring them into Unity in pieces rather than have it be all one object or all one FBX and then bring it in. I feel like there's more freedom here to play um, if I do it that way. So that's why I do that. Um, you're, you're welcome. All right, so uh, I think I'm going to create a folder or an empty to put this all this in this is kind of a too much here so I'm just going to right click create an empty and I'll call this uh, uh, I'll call it platforms and then I'm just going to take all of this and drag it into there there we go so now they're it's a little cleaner now. So I think, let me just test this. I'm just kind of building it out, trying to figure out how it's going to look here. If I take all of this, right? So I want it to be at, at least that wide, right? Maybe a little bit bigger like this. There we go. So, so something like that. Now if I take all of this, let's try this. I'm going to take all of this and <laughs> can I do this? I think I can. Let's, let's try it. I'm going to take this whole group here and duplicate it. Then I'm going to drag it over so now I have two, and I guess I'll first try and spin it, I'm going to spin it all the way around here in the Y, 180. That's ugly. Let me try that again. Uh, 
put that in the center of the object and let's try that again yeah that's what I was afraid of so I mean I could move that over and put it in place but I was kind of afraid that would happen but what I can do is try it like this not exactly an elegant sol solution at this point in time but let me see where um oh I see that there it is I'm just trying to line these up I could m mirror them over I suppose but let's try this and see if it works uh, it's a little off But <laughs> I think I'll go with it though. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the top view and wireframe, and I'm just going to move this whole thing over here like this and just see how that works. Still just playing with what I want this to look like, you know? And it's still kind of a work in progress. So, let me hit play and run around in here. I don't know why the materials or the textures are different there probably because of the sh shadows no but they look quite different there I'll have to figure that out but if I run through here kinda gives me a sense of how big this is gonna be hmm I think this is about right. I don't think I need it any. In fact, I think maybe that, I think that should be where it ends. I don't think I want platforms on the top. I think I just want it to end up right there. Yeah, I think that's getting there. So yeah, I think um, I'm going to have to figure out what the issue is with the materials here something happened to the material when I duplicated it um, I wonder if I just spin the uh, oh maybe because well let's see let me take a look at the lighting oh it's auto build that's why it's still maybe it's still building the lighting um, let me see, let me take all of these, what are... I'm just looking at the lighting here and the materials. Where is... here we go. Blend probes. Okay. Let me find my directional light and move that around and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. All right. This particular lighting is set up with just one directional l light isn't really doing it a whole lot of good 
because ultimately I think we're going to need point lights or spotlights in here, like, you know, pointing down on each of the platforms. So it'll be kind of um, atmospheric. How's that? So I think that's going to work. All right. Well, cool. Um, let me see. Is there anything else that needs to be done here? Yeah, see, these light fixtures here, I'm going to need to create those things in there. And also these beams going up and down. Um, and then I'll begin working on the floor and the walls. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, yeah, I think I think it's coming along. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I think that's it for me today. Yes, uh, I said you can try more than one light source. Yes, and I will. Um, maybe tomorrow we'll actually put in some uh, 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 spotlights in Unity and see and see how it looks. Because it's going to be um, it's going to be um, at night, so I think it should be kind of uh, dim with just pools uh, pools of light. Yes, um, you said that you think that some of them didn't finish baking. Yeah, and that's why they were. Yeah, I think that's why they were a different color than all all the rest. So, all right. Well, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon, and um, I got some other things I need to do, but I will be back here tomorrow, same time, and we'll see if we can't build this out a little bit more um, and get it into Unity. So, thank you so much for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, take care.